hello everybody welcome back in this video we are going to create a digital speedometer and uh, wh what I think is that uh, we should uh, finish our scripting first the scripting area so after that we will uh, finalize our modeling and then we will finish the UI and we will finish uh, every aspect of our game so first let's start with creating scripts and uh, that, uh, that UI elements okay so uh, for speedometer we can just click here and uh, we can go to UI and then we can click on canvas okay uh, now first thing first is that we should do some settings to our canvas so first of all I will come here and uh, that's fine here I will use pixel perfect okay this course is for intermediate users okay so I will not explain everything here and then we will come uh, here and then scale with screen size we are going to create this game for uh, desktop so we can add here 1280 x axis and uh, 720 y axis okay. it's important actually and match width or height that's fine after that uh, that's everything okay uh, this after doing this uh, setting our canvas is ready okay now uh, we are going to create one text element in UI and uh, before that text element I will add one image for speedometer okay and uh, we can place the speedometer uh, left bottom maybe we can place it here and then we can add some image on this uh, uh, element speedometer okay so I already imported image so we will go to our sprites I made a folder with sprites name and here is this is for speedometer I also converted this to sprite 2d and UI and then now I can drag this image on uh, sorry we will just select this image and then drag this thing here okay now our speedometer is placed successfully we can run the game and check our UI so we can see that this is very small here so we will make it a little bit bigger like this and this thing also like this okay now it's fine okay we are going to display our result here for speed so we can create a text document here in UI text and then we can rename this text to speed speed meter or anything else whatever you want and here we can add zero that's it and now I will also replace uh, choose the font for this and this is a good font and make this font size bigger now we will check our text and our text is where is our text I'll just delete this text first just delete uh, just create this text again and then here I'll place zero and uh, now it's visible and I ma will make this uh, style change the style we'll do bold and then we can yeah we, we did that's why it was not visible before because the size was too big okay so now our text is ready we can come here and we can change the color to white now we can place this text to our speedometer like this and this text is very small so what we can do uh, we can use this uh, element it's called scalar and then we can scale our text area like this and then we can make this font size bigger okay I think uh, maybe 40 is fine and now we can adjust this tag uh, text like this and that's fine now if we run the game our icon is visible but it's too big okay it's too big so uh, we will make this and this thing a little bit smaller now 
and now we can make this text bigger like this and now we can place this text inside this image so it's, it will be part of this image now and we can adjust speedometer like this and then we can use this option of anchor and we can uh, use this uh, anchor click on this and now it's perfect okay uh, if you run the game we can see the result uh, that's fine I think uh, but it's uh, now it's a little bit big actually we'll make it small because our game graphics should be visible we will create an awesome environment in this game so we should need a big size uh, visibility for our main uh, game so this is fine i think yeah that's good now we can just adjust this text a little bit here and we will go to our cars section in standard assets and in vehicles car scripts we have a car controller script which our car is using okay so we'll open the script and we'll do some programming here we are going to create a variable this is our car controller and after here we will add a function public wide we get text we can name this like this and then we will start our function in curly braces and we will say so here we will say text equal to get component text and that's it it will get now the component named as uh, the component text okay now one field will be visible now uh, here we will make one more function of uh, update and I just uh, copied my code here so you can see we created one update function and take new text dot text equal to okay new text dot text is the element the variable which we created in uh, our variables area and it is equal to current speed current speed is coming from car okay so current speed um, you can see in uh, the standard assets the car uh, scripting you will find the current speed here I'm sorry where is that here okay so this current speed is coming from here so we um, added this uh, function and then we converted this to string because we need uh, we don't need uh, too much decimals okay so we converted that to string and now after that we just added this for no decimal okay otherwise if we don't add this it will come like um, 10 point something okay zero 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 one like this so we added this thing if we add f2 it will go to uh, two decimal functions and like that okay decimal places after that I just added a string here and string uh, name is just km per r so this will be visible on our speedometer that's it that's the coding for our speedometer and we have done uh, this thing now we will move to our unity and um, when we will go to our car we will find one text uh, we should have one text field here now in car inspector tab you can see a new field here new text field okay so we'll drag this text here and now we are ready we will play the game and hopefully yeah our speed our speedometer is ready but we need this image a little bit big actually and we will do like this that's it everything is fine we will make text a little bit more smaller because kilometer per hour per hour is going outside yeah no no it's fine so our speedometer is ready and it's a very easy trick I showed you and see you in next video where we are going to create health bar for our car. Thank you very much.